Hi everyone, glad you can join my cooking with the dumb class today. So today I'm gonna show you one of my favorite things to make. Focaccia! There are many recipes for focaccia, but this is my favorite one when you feel like eating it the same day. First, I need 400 grams of good Italian double zero flour. Bring one to you because it will make your focaccia nice and fluffy. Then add 100 grams of semolina flour. Semolina flour is a wheat made from durian wheat. You will be able to find this in many Italian grocery stores. So add these two together in a bowl and add half a tablespoon of salt and, uh, and add a juice of oil. This Then get 7 grams of yeast and half a tablespoon of caster sugar. Add to the 300 ml of lukewarm water and then mix it for four. Until you see it starts to create a fry. Then pour this into a well and mix with a fork. At this point, you can even place it on the chopping board and need for around 5 minutes until it's smooth and soft. But today, I'm going to cheat and place it in my stand mixer and attach the dough hook and let it do all the hard work. Okay, let this beautiful focaccia dough Turn for five minutes. So now that this is ready, I'm gonna turn it off. Right, I'm gonna turn it off now. I'm gonna press this button to lift it up, and I'm gonna take this off. So now I got the dough right. I'm gonna put it on the board. I'm gonna make it into a ball shape. Now, I have the round bowl. There, I'm gonna put it in the bowl, in the bowl with oil. Now, sprinkle with a little flour and then cover with a tear towel and leave in a warm place for at least an hour or until the moon See you in an hour! Okay, I'm back. Let's see if that dough is ready for the next step. Ooh, sure is! Now I'll pound it. So now, take it out and put it in the oven tray. Now we have to spread the dough out. So now this is the palm part we need to put dips in the focaccia, okay? Okay now, this is the part when you can add your favorite toppings on the focaccia. Now, my favorite is a lot of olive oil and a sprinkle of oregano and a sprinkle of rosemary and just a sprinkle of salt. Okay now, after we've finished all adding the ingredients, we have to add the damp cloth on top of the oven tray and like this and then you grab it and let it rest for 30 minutes. Now, turn on the oven to preheat it to 220 degrees. See you in 30 minutes! Okay, here we go. Have a look at the focaccia! You can see how it's risen. It's, it looks so beautiful! 
I wish I can eat it right now, but we can't. I have to cook it. Okay, we have to place it in the oven and bake for around 20 minutes or until golden brown. I'll show you how this came out. Oh, that looks so good! Mmm! You can just smell it. I know you can't, but I can. I think I'll add a little bit more oil because I love my oil. When it's hot, it gives that extra flavor. I love my oil. Oh, look how thick it is! It's so thick! It's very thick. I'm gonna it's cut through this for cocktail. Oh, look how thick and fluffy this is. Thanks for watching. And a big shout out to Jamie Oliver for this amazing recipe.